This video contains content sponsored by John Wilson Blades and MK Blades. Opinions discussed in this video do not reflect the views of John Wilson or MK. Welcome to the skating lesson. I'm Jennifer Kirk. And I'm Dave Lees. Here we are in St. Paul, Minnesota for our We're date. Backstage, very excited. The pairs and the dance, free dance, and then pairs free skate. It's about to start. But we want to recap yesterday's event. So it started with the short dance. Yeah. Not surprising results. But I think based on, in my opinion, the way that they skated, the results were just a little bit surprising. The results for what I would predict was going to happen, I don't think it had any correlation to what actually exactly. happened on That's the ice. Right. Yeah. And it, you know, we sat right in front for the dance and we were actually sitting with some judges and, you know, talking about this and what they felt. And to me, when you watch the teams in person, there was such a difference in the power, the depth of edge, the speed and the carriage. And I really felt that Hubble and Donahue were the best team, but could they put them first because they're setting people up for the world championships. But to me, they had the performance of the short program. Obviously, they didn't have the leading going into the final, but if you're a fair, honest person, I really believe that when you watch them skate that Hallelujah program, it had such power, it had such emotion. It was the moment, and it had the quality for me. Yeah, that was my first time seeing it in person, and just being in the arena, they were the last of the contenders to skate. You felt that energy. There was a moment, did you see that moment after they finished their program where I was like, it was like 30 seconds together? of like, like going on? are they gonna kiss? Are, the sexual tension was everything. You but if we skated that well together, I, I think like they, we yeah. might have had a little bit of a moment keeping it real. But the thing that I get, I understand you have to put them third, but why do you put them four points behind the leaders? I mean, couldn't they at least, I mean, it was 75 and then 74 and then 71. You think that they could at least stay in contention within those numbers. Their face in the kiss and cry when the results came up as well. It was like they knew that, it, they knew this was going to happen. and. We could have all told the results. I mean, it's, yeah. and everyone's afraid to say it. I know they were trying to ask the Shibutanis about, I mean, they know they're going to be second, mm -hmm. likely here. They didn't seem so excited about, yeah. I mean, yeah. I think it's getting harder to hide your disappointment at a certain mm -hmm. point when, particularly with the Shibutanis, this has been such a great year for them. I still feel, though, that that short dance, it doesn't do their skating service. It's not as good as they can they skate like we see in the free skaters. dance. They are wonderful skaters. It just doesn't have that same magic that their free dance does or that Hubble and Donahue have. So I don't know for the waltz this year. I don't, you know, obviously they can't really change it at this point. It, to me, it was the second best program. I thought that they had a lot of good qualities. Um, so you're saying you would have Chalk and Bates third? Yeah, I would have had it switched. I just think in person, Chalk and Bates, it just doesn't, I don't, if I were to watch the three of them in person, not knowing, you know, the Who they were the and internationally, yeah. I would say, oh, they're third. Yeah. You know, like, nice team, good team. She's lovely presentation. He has wonderful, smooth carriage and, you know, a great knee bend. But it just, it didn't have the same power of the other skaters in person. It's, it's a little flat and a little bit weaker uh, mm -hmm. in terms of the other thing. And, and a lot of their programs are very similar. How many times are we going to see the hands behind his neck and the yes, split? Yes. Right? It's every program a couple of times it gets a little tired um, for me, especially compared to when you see the Hallelujah. It's just one of those programs that works. Yeah. It is just phenomenal program. Well, before we move on to the men, a little bit surprising, Anastasia and Colin in fourth, mm -hmm. ahead of Hawaii, I can make her like that she got a new skirt. I thought it did them much more. I mean, it just made her look a lot better. Noticing them in person, though, they really hold back, I feel, when it comes to just their performance quality. She has kind of that perma smile on it the whole time. It's not this genuine quality that we definitely saw from Hubble and Donahue, where they it's an emotional performance. This is very much, they were doing their skills, um, staying within the box, and I just feel like for them to make it, break through, get out of that fourth fifth place ranking, they really need to bring a more, I'd say, not genuine quality, but kind of break out of just trying to be pretty and I feel like we've seen princess. the princess thing. Yeah. We've seen them, the, the, they have a very similar vibe and style throughout their programs. I mean, obviously it's not exactly the same, but we haven't seen any characters. We haven't seen yeah. them read different. And I think until they break out their skating, the speed, they have a close heist difference, they're really gonna have to 
break it, not reinvent themselves, but, but kind of like we saw risks. from Hubble and yeah. Donahue this season. I mean, even if they the medal is the and bronze, the ships and the free dance, yes, like, they're making a statement about yeah. their skating, showing us that there's more than just we see. We'll talk about making a statement. We got to discuss the men because this has been a little bit controversial in terms of the results. So Max Aaron winning, that's not really a huge controversy. Let's start with him, though. What do you think about his performances? I think Max did great, and I think what I really appreciated with Max is that he, you know, he admitted it was a struggle, but he fought for every landing. He came here to win. He was so focused. We were seeing him do this thing with his... Yeah, so backstage, guys, before we got on the ice, it was kind of like he was just, um, his eyes were closed, but he was twitching his muscles. I think as a skater, it's just, you can, it's a weird thing. I can sit here and I can like feel a triple sow cow. Like I can just feel my body doing it. And it was like he was getting in the zone. And that's really, I think the biggest story with him this season is that he's just, something's changed. He's There's in no that bullshit. zone. No. Yeah, I think we've seen it ever since we were in Colorado. He wasn't skating that great there. He turned yeah. it, he dialed it up a notch for Skate America, but you just see the focus, the commitment. He really is working with Philip. He really is trying, and he really, he came here to win. Yeah, yeah. We, ta we asked him about that mental game during the press conference. For Max, how have you changed your process? We've seen you do more quad triples this season than any time in the past, so what have you actually done to make yourself more successful? I would love to give you that, that solution. Um, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, let me know. <laughs> yeah, let us know. <laughs> yeah, no, it's just, you know, working day by day in certain ways and, and working on certain mindsets. And it, like I said, it definitely sometimes isn't the funnest thing to do. Um, but like I said, I'm doing whatever it takes to be the best I can. And, that's what it's going to take, and that's what I'm going to do. Well, I think, too, just working not only on his mental aspect, but his PCS is. PCS was all, every single score was in the eights. And I think it's deserved. It showed that he's really putting his time in. Also notable, he wears MK Blades, the Phantom Revolution. And just that total package that we saw in the short program, do you expect him to win? I expect Max to be really steady, and I think that that should win. And I think Nationals is also setting people up for Worlds. I would have had him a couple points higher. I know people complain about Nationals scoring. I thought that there should have been more of a difference. Between, between first and second. I, In my opinion, yes. And we're also setting people up, and to me, Max is the one that's really done it internationally. This year, he's you know won Skate America. He had a you know very strong senior B. He had a great short at Neville Horn, and I think that for the totality of this season and how he did in the short program, that Max should have been rewarded more because this is a game. You know, you see the Canadian scores. Reaver and Poche magically did get a point higher. Patrick than Chan's and Pace. in yeah. over 100. Yeah. yeah I, I mean. Is Max Chan level? No. But I think that, especially with Nationals, I thought that his score was a little... Um, lower than you would have Lower, been. and I thought that they would reward him more for the improvements that he has made. Because they are noticeable improvements. Yeah. Well, talking about improvements, we have Ross Minor placing second here. It really seemed like Cup of Russia turned things around for him in terms of his confidence, but a lot of talk because Nathan, who's in fourth, he did attempt the two quads, successfully landing them, except he got GOE dings on one of them. And then, in my opinion, it was a really strong performance by Ross, but the jumps, even the triple axle that he landed, and the triple S, triple toe, there's kind of squirrely. Like, it's not this nice, gorgeous, effortless performance. Did he deserve to be second here? You know, I struggle with whether or not he does. I think he deserved to be second, yes. Um, I would have had him second, Nathan third, Adam fourth, is what I think I would have done with the results. Uh, I feel that Ross is too close to Max. In the standings, mm -hmm. I do feel that Max is a tier above. Even Max has a certain command over the ice now. His edges could still be better and improve the skating. He's working on that, but I feel that Max has a certain gravitas when mm -hmm. he skates this season. Uh, just a body language, and I... I feel that Ross is very good. He's always a little more conservative um, with how he goes instead of just going for it um, and really having that abandon. I thought Ross did a great job. Um, did they want Ross? He's the hometown boy at Worlds. I mean, it's a moment. I think Ross came in. He was someone that they would like to have in the conversation for the world team, and he delivered. But to me, I thought the mark was a little high. How about you? I agree, and he doesn't have a consistent quad. During the mix zone, uh, um, when the reporters ask him if we'll see the quad in his own program, and he was like, yeah. But I watched his body language, yeah. and the arms crossed, and he got kind of closed off. It was a little bit like, yeah, it's going to be there. but I So hopefully he'll be able to put it together. But I do think 
internationally, there is some weight to what Christine Brennan and Phil Hirsch are saying and Raphael is saying as well, we'll talk about it in a minute, that you need to push that technical envelope. And I know these guys are trying it, but when we talk about Adam taking out the quad Lutz, which is understandable, it hasn't ever been backwards, but that not doing the quad toe, which he can do, and we've seen him do in the past, what are your thoughts on his performance? Because during the press conference, he did talk about comparing himself to Nathan, and this is what he said. Um, I think Nathan doing two quads in the short program is really important for the development of U.S. men's feeding. I think it's what's happening in the world right now. Um, I think all of us can say that we have been here for a while. We all we were here eight years ago, and um, I think in that time we've learned that we kind of can't look around at our other competitors ourselves because I think in some way or another we've all done that and we're like that doesn't work dang like <laughs> I'm, I'm screwed and um, as soon as you think that you are and um, I know for me personally I've really focused on my own like my own performances and what can I do to get the most amount of points out of my performances and I skate with Nathan every day and he tries four quads in a program he tries three, he does two in a short and um, I mean I'm 26 and he's 16 so I use that to my advantage where I'm going to let him do that but at this point in my career I know that I can spin better I know that I can skate faster and um, I think we push each other um, because I think Nathan is an incredible skater, I think he's like the future. Um, but right now, I think we want to be the present. So my thing about Adam's performance is I think he's beautiful, obviously, to watch on the ice, and he does have a certain quality. He has been skating really well here. Um, he's looked calm, he's done clean shorts. He just didn't have it last night. The landings, especially, you know, being forward on the combination, to me, I'm losing faith, or it was confirmation of things that we have kind of talked about and discussed. I think Adam will do a better long program. He's, you know, very similar to Ashley in that way, and I think that we've seen throughout the season. But he doesn't have the quads, and it's. I don't think it's coming. I, I don't, and I think that. Do you it's think hard. it's bad for figure skating if he and Max both skate very well and he wins? You know, I think he'll give the viewers a performance. I don't think it's bad for skating, per se. I think that in terms of our international chances and setting someone up who's going to perhaps place well at the World Championships, that... you got to pick a guy, you know? You Is that basically what you're saying? Yeah, you have to pick a guy and then you have to fluff him a little bit. I think that Max could get a quad toe in his program next season and do two quads potentially, or at least in the free skate. I don't see Adam adding that technical content at this time anymore. We've seen Max do the quads before. We know he can do it and land it backwards. And seeing the improvements he's made, you know, this is a great season for Adam. He could go to the World Championships, but I don't see the long-term potential of improvement. I think that there are other guys coming up, and this is a great moment for him, and I, I don't know if he's going to be able to do it next year. Well, and he talked when we interviewed him. He said that he his goal was to be on that world podium, and I don't think you can get on the world podium without a quad, and that's just not going to happen. I think he could very well go to Worlds. He could do great. I think he could place maybe as high as 8th or 7th, but you're not going to get on the world podium if you don't do a quad, and that's just the reality of the situation. And the reality of it is that we have three spots now. Doing the math, looking at who the contenders are, it's going to be very difficult to maintain those three spots. Is it possible? Yes, it's possible. Last year, it also didn't seem likely, but it happened. Mm -hmm. This year, I just think it's going to be harder, especially when you see the quads and the points that the other skaters are getting and how they've been scoring. It's going to be def very difficult to keep those three spots, and I think the skaters they pick to kind of groom for the future going forward to the Olympics are going to be very important. And Raphael spoke about this a little bit. We'll set up his clip in a second. But yeah, after Adam skated, Raphael was walking out of the tunnel as I was walking back to the press room. He was just shaking his head after those and marks. And it was interesting that these are his two skaters. Yes, but I think he agrees with some of the sentiment that the skating world is feeling, a part of the skating world feels, is that you need to promote that young talent. I think he sees what Nathan can do technically as where the sport needs to be. Yeah, and Nathan did miss a spin and some but mm -hmm. to me, Nathan showed the first signs of that we have a talent coming up 
that could eventually get where we need to go. Mm -hmm. And I know and that- And you kind of need to reward that. You need to reward yeah. that. And I think that it's very important that Nathan Chen go to the world championships this year because we only have a couple of years until the Olympics. Yeah. He needs to be seasoned. He needs to yeah. have this experience. He could be injured next year, you don't And know. I mean, he's proven he's, last year, obviously he was injured, but his short program nationals was really rough. And he looked like a completely different skater last night. The first time going out, doing two quads in a short program. I can't articulate how difficult that is, not only a short program, but to do that at nationals. And I thought he handled the pressure and he had a lot of expectations on him very well. I expect him to do a really great long program. On, and if you're and hopefully move aspect, up. He's someone with the guts to do two quads at nationals. This is someone that has the mindset to compete internationally. Yeah. And I don't, for Adam and Ross, they've had time, they've had experience, but and they're great skaters. But, but it's to time me, to even if how the results play out, if I'm in that meeting on Sunday, I'm voting to send Nathan uh, to the world championships. There's a lot of talk about if Jason uh, should be here and who to send. To me, the third spot is not that important. It between Jason, Adam, Ross, depending how they skate, but I think it's important that we send Max Aaron and Nathan Chen to the World Championships. And I think year. Raphael agrees with that as well. How important do you think it is for someone like Nathan to go to Worlds, to have the experience in front of the judges at the senior level? You before know, the I, I think, I think uh, if, if, if he goes to any international event, it would be not embarrassing to send him there. <laughs> mm. it's what, that's what I think. An official must decide what they want. We also saw Corian filling out that petition to get uh, Jason on that world team, so we'll be following that. Do you that. think they'll name him to the world team? I think they will. I think based on his stature, his star power, he will be named. I don't know if he will compete at the world no, based I, on his back injury. Predictions now? <laughs> I think it'll be Max, Adam, and then I think they'll name Jason, and I think Nathan will probably end up going. Not to count out Ross, but I think um, just putting it all together. It'll and be interesting did to ask watch. Adam about how he felt. I asked if he felt he needed to be in the top two here to secure um, a trip to Worlds, and this is what Adam had to say about that. With Jason petitioning, do you think it's important to be the top two to make sure you go to Worlds? I think that my season overall has been pretty strong, and um, I plan on skating really well tomorrow, so that probably and hopefully won't be a factor. And then I said tomorrow, so then hopefully I'll skate even better on Sunday. <laughs> about some other men though before we move on because we want to discuss Canadians really quickly our Tim Delensky handled the pressure very well we were this proud of him. This was a moment because I was very nervous to I was very nervous to practice today and we yeah. were kind of watching and I, uh, yesterday not today yesterday. we haven't watched his practice today. Tim was yeah watching his practice. All the days blend together here people. <laughs> okay so this is what like I feel like we're in finals week of school yes. like this is like no sleep and a lot of coffee in the days and we haven't been outside. And I know you, I really did my wish came true of never having to go outside. But it's bizarre. It's I, yeah I kind of like it you just get in that tunnel vision like literally you're walking through a tunnel to get here every day but what were you talking so he had a tough practice. He had a tough practice you know he was Inconsistent, you know, it was kind of 50 50 on all of his elements. He, and then his warm up was. was he tripped on his sexy edges, people. It was a sexy trip, but he did trip. Um, but he, he showed so us that he could do it. Nissan, I was legitimately nervous. I was, we were like gripping each other. Like, yeah. talk about nails and skin. There was some nails and skin because he's so talented mm -hmm. and he's still in the mix. I mean, he is fifth six foot. points. I mean, he's in fifth, six points out of the Peter, mm -hmm. but. This is good for him this compared to where he was player. last year too. Yeah, and he's someone who he, he's trained to quad south cow. He's likely not going to do it uh, in the free skate here going for clean and adding that in next season. It's just so impressive to see someone who has worked so hard at their skating. He doesn't have any of the BS of the other talk of all the other no. skaters. Wait, it's very straightforward. He didn't even know what place he was in when we were no. talking to him. He, and it literally, it wasn't like skater, I don't want to know. It's like, oh, oh, I'm in, okay, that's good. Like he literally, he's such a genuine, just normal human being. Mm -hmm. He does not belong in this sport at all, but his skating <laughs> is phenomenal. The <laughs> fact. Um, now we were watching practice and I remember you thought Grant was going to do well and I, I did not um, based on the practice. How did you feel he performed last night? Well, wearing MK Vision blades, mm -hmm. I thought it, 
I was proud of him because missing that opening quad, and he had a lot of expectations on himself, really wanting to do well. I think in his mind, he really saw himself as a contender. It was great to see him come back and do the triple axel, but he needed that triple let's triple toe, and that's really, I think, I know he's had a bit of a groin pull here that he is um, fighting uh, through. He's done some great longs. He's still in it, and I think he's someone that could still have a moment. And I, I, yeah, I, I don't count him out. I don't think he's out of it at all. Well, Alex Johnson finishing seventh. But let's talk about Vincent because he went on Instagram and he was pretty adamant about the fact that he felt he was robbed. He was underscored. In just real watching it in real time, I thought the quad sow was a double sow, a double carrot. Yeah. Um, and we saw it so many times. Yeah. And there are parts of his skating that he can elongate. He can he can just stretch a little bit more. So Raphael talked a lot about um, breeding a champion. How he wishes that you know, he said, "Was I not good enough for Ashley Wagner?" You know, when she's 16, and that she should have come earlier. And that's what he was saying, you guys, about the education. It was mm -hmm. their skating education, not. But he feels you know, there were years school. that you need to be with a top coach. Maybe in her earlier teenage years, you know. I think she was with Shirley Hughes at the time, but he feels that had she had the right structure and he kind of molded her into a warrior. And that's why I think he's so adamantly behind Nathan. Mm -hmm. I think he, he received him young enough that young he could enough kind of he feels he can really do something with him. Mold and, him and into Raphael, his vision. <laughs> Raphael's vision. Yeah. Uh, and it's I, I get that. Um, I think with so talking about that, I think it's also important to work the skating skills, and this is not Tom's forte. I think it's important that they really get someone in there for Vincent now so that we're not having the conversation in three years about his skating skills. Mm. I think they need to really focus on that, harness it, get him a good choreographer, and also have him be working with someone like Orion Yonke every day every and day. making that as Kind of how as Max important. has done. Yeah. Yes, but even more because I think because he's young enough, he can even develop that more. I think that they need to make that as important as the quad because Hanyu, Dennis, right. Tim, they can skate and they can jump. And I know I know Tom loves to focus on the quad. He was doing the quad count at the Grand Prix final, but he it really needs because Vincent seems like he's a sponge. He's going to take in what yes. you tell him, and just it needs to start now that nurturing. It's not going to happen otherwise. We're going to have a skater with quads, but not the skating skills. So we need to focus on this now. I think it's probably the last time he'll ever go on Instagram and be so open about that. Which is sad. We yeah. like that uh, that openness. But let's move on just really briefly before we go and watch today's events. Let's talk about Canadians. Patrick Chan winning a phenomenal short program, finally putting it together. How good was this? It was good. There was no pressure on him, which is the other thing, but I think getting over that hurdle is really important, and I'll be interested to see if he competes at Four Continents and what he does there, because it could be kind of a competition between uh, Patrick, Dennis Ten, Shoma Uno. I, I think for Patrick, this was a really big moment, and it was the first time we really saw Patrick. Emerge. Yeah, Patrick back as world champion Patrick, yeah. but not emerging so much was Nam struggling technically and he'd talk about the spins, the skating skills. It's just he, the same story with him, I feel. It's becoming more glaring. I yeah. Think this, last and they try to make him a little cutesy in the program, but you can't forgive it as much anymore. He was landing everything and you talk about that, you know, the second season, it's more difficult. There are more expectations and to me it's because the area hasn't stepped up yet. It now it's even, like we're going to, like you get one season where we kind of give you the benefit we'll of the doubt. We'll let you run in place one season. Yeah, but now I'm like, you know, you're, you're a senior man, you're going for a world medal, so it's time to kind of leave that at home and take your skating up a bit of a notch. We'll talk. But we were concerned about the pair event. This yeah, was. we were, so we were, as the senior men were skating, we were watching Twitter and watching the videos. So we got to start with Kirsten and Michael because this was unfortunately such a difficult moment. But the way they recovered, Dave, was just phenomenal. So getting been up, so trained, so trained. Natural. You could tell. And I think, yes, there are several points back. I believe about ten. Ten points the, out of third. yeah. Very impressed by their recovery. I think that they can have a good long program. I think she's angry. I don't think she's given up. No. A, we were texting with her. She seemed And originally when I saw the results, when I saw the numbers before I saw the performances, I thought, oh, I don't know. Yeah. I really don't know. But and this is devastating. The fact that they turned it around seeing the body language and then watching Luba and Dylan and Julian and Charlie, they were not as strong. Julian and Charlie were not as solid as they've been other times. We saw, you know, the hand going They're vulnerable, down. They're vulnerable, vulnerable. And Luba and Dylan, to me, looked very vulnerable, uh, especially the throw. Um, the twist, you know, dismount could yeah. have been better. But the throw, I have questions about, you know, what's going to, I think, four minutes is a long time. <laughs> a long time. And uh, there are a lot of elements. And I think that, um, obviously, Kirsten and Michael need the free skate of their lives. Um, 
but it is. But I believe if anyone could do it out of you know those three teams, it would. It's yeah, I, I really believe that at this time. I think they want it. I I don't know what will happen for them if they miss Worlds two years in a row. Yeah. I really don't know. I mean, I think that would be so difficult. They've put everything into this season and made so many changes, and then for that mistake to happen on the twist and kind of the a flu first thing at nationals yeah. but i'm just the recovery was phenomenal before we wrap things up i do want to talk about megan and eric mm -hmm. briefly so changing around the program a little bit doing the throw triple s earlier new dress um okay so i like kind of what they're going for but it came across she looks naked like she's just not wearing a shirt and then she has this red skirt on i would have liked the beating to have been mm -hmm. more red throughout um What's going I don't on? Think dress matters. <laughs> They've made so many. It changes. matters to me. I mean, no, I just mean, I don't know why. Yeah, they that it's not. the dress. Yeah, the, no, dress just, the other dress was fine, is what we're trying to say. Uh. They've made so many changes to their program. They're trying to find what works best for them. It just seems like they're panicking a little bit, overthinking this short. Mm -hmm. And they, you know, I think you know we've seen her double the lutz. Rarely, I think she'll go for it at the World Championships. I don't yeah. think that this is going to be a habitual thing. The throw is becoming a little bit more habitual. Yeah, it's like their technique and their timing maybe is off a little bit from doing and the quad. And they are practicing the throw quad again, and they've started landing them. They weren't practicing them for a while. Maybe that is changing it, but I, I really believe that they just need to get out of their heads. This is a great short program. They can do the short program. You have to think there's a lot of pressure on them. I, I expected them to actually do a clean short here. I did so too. This is, I think for Four Continents, they need to do a clean short program. This is, you know, their time. They're still in this for the World Championships. But, and I, 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 I hope that they do a, a clean long program because you don't want to see someone get into that spiral of what is happening mm -hmm. and panicking and this is, this program's becoming a bit of a minefield for them mentally, and I think it's just eight elements that they can do. Yeah, they, they made it into something so much bigger. Mm -hmm. um, Go back to last year's short. You know what? Just ditch the program. Yeah, again. do something Last new. year's short was or so consistent, that you're used so to. clean for you. You'll have that fresh energy. Don't get it. Just ditch it. Something's not working. Bad juju. Something is. It's not the dress. Yeah, it's not the dresses because the other dresses were fine. Well, as we look ahead to today's performances, what was your hashtag? MK moment from yesterday, Dave Least. I have two. Oh, okay. Okay, so my first moment downstairs chatting with my idol Christine Brennan. Hi. So Phil Harris and Jenny like have their own thing. I'm more of a Christine kind of girl. Um, she texted Tanya Harding. Yes. <laughs> because we wanted to know how Tanya was doing. We were because this is where she won her title, the triple yes. axel. We're all thinking about Tanya. She has not yet texted us back though. We're gonna try again today. We'll yeah. double text her. Yeah, we need to hear how Tanya is doing. Apparently she watches skating and she keeps track. So I think that that's, I would love to, what does she think She about? should come on the skating lesson and love this. recap the event with us. Yeah. So what was your second moment? Hashtag MK moment. MK moment was Tim Delensky's short program. That was seeing a skater have such overcome a hurdle, especially after the short at Skate Canada and mm -hmm. what he can do. I think he had a breakthrough moment in his career and I think that that was phenomenal. Parabens, parabens. Parabens, I don't know how to say it. Well, my hashtag MK moment came from an MK skater. It was Max Aaron. Skating so well, I think he just seems so in it mm -hmm. this season and so focused and I think this title will be his to win, but we wanna Money know. Money on it, Jenny. Money on it. I'm what is your top three for the men? For the men, it's going to go Max, Adam, Nathan. But I think Nathan will have a really phenomenal performance. How about you, Dave Lease? I agree. All right. Well, we want to know what are your predictions? What is your hashtag MK moment from yesterday? Join us. We may be doing a live show tonight, depending on how exhausted we are. So we'll stay tuned. We'll be tweeting about that. But we thank you for watching our coverage. Yeah, and as always, we want to remind you that when you have a great short dance at Nationals, have a bit of a moment that keeps us guessing. I know. Hold that edge and look sexy. sexy. Bye, Bye, guys.